I say hi and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacles. Um, we have just got Hoagie back and uh, we are gonna get going. And we are not gonna talk with him, we are gonna go upstairs. These things, uh, I spent tons of time when I started the game back in the days. Uh, I, I could barely English back then, and to be honest, this is one of the games that made me want it's to learn. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. I can't even do this right. Yeah, I guess not. But um, this was the game that I actually wanted to, to make me learn English so I could uh, be better. Green! Oh. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh... Does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. This is the only thing I can't remember all of it, because um, there are so many lines in this game. So I'm pretty much trying on the way. So this is uh, try and error on the way. Punishing old ladies down the stairs. I'm pushing old ladies. Designing a miniature. Designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. I guess. I guess there's nothing uh, useful in this text besides just talking to him, because you don't get any uh, information. I guess. So uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Yeah! So, uh, that was just useless talk, but uh, he's the friendly one. And the reason why I want to push this speaker is because there's a pancake on the roof uh, in the entrance. Um, so I'm gonna pick up the tape. And we're gonna... I think it's use. Wow, this is loud. There, see the pancake goes down. Whew. Add some heavy metal. So now we got access to the pancake, but uh, not yet. I th yeah, this is the video room. Yeah, we're not gonna be here just yet. No, 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 no. Over here. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? 
All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. I'm not sure if I can pick up the hamster just yet. Yeah, I can. So, uh, now it's time to piss him off, because I know... Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... <gasps> my Pony Express stamps! You ruined my Pony Express stamps! Not to mention five years of therapy! Get out of my room! Jeez, what a grump! He should really try to find some outlet for those... <laughs> ...negative feelings. We got our stamp, so... Get out of here! Give the stamps back to... Hey, you fixed it! I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Remember, I remember back in the days I spent a whole day figuring that one out. Well, not a whole day, but back in the days I had four hours or something a day to to play, um, I was allowed to play. So I spent four hours to figure that one out to get that uh, stamp. Oops. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pick up the crank. It's a primitive but useful venting device which prevents injury due to harmful smoke inhalation. And that makes me go back to the living room. And open. Because I know I'm going to need that one later. Neat! Pick up a fork. And I know I'm going to need these two decaf and coffee. So as I said, this is going to go pretty quick because uh, I love this game and uh, I wanted to make this let's play because 
I've seen a lot of Let's Plays out there, but they are mainly in German. Uh, of course, they are allowed to be that. I can't say that they can't. Neat. So, uh, I thought it was about time I made one in English. And now we can pick up this one. And we can go outside, because I know to get the last dime, we need to give this thief the keys. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. What sort of person? Is there anything in here? Nothing. So, I can use the crowbar to finally all these things. Do remember, I did not know how to uh, English or anything and uh, use gum. Uh, so I spent a ton of time just clicking around, moving around, figuring stuff out, uh, and it took ages. So now I have two dimes, and I think it was in here. Yeah. Use dime on this slot machine. And where's the other use dime on this one again? And we can pick up the sweater. Ew, it's soaking wet. Uh, I'm pretty sure hamster on the ice machine I'm sorry to do this to you little fella but it's for the future of the whole planet exactly I think there is nothing more we can do here uh, da, 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 We can give textbook to Hoshi. I'll just run to the Chronogon. There's something in the Chronogon. And he need this one as well. I'll use the Chronogon. Back in the days, I had to. Th I thought I had to walk all the way to the basement and back and pick up stuff and send stuff. But later on, I figure out that you can actually just pick it up and send it directly to uh, the others. So I think there's not much more I can do here. So uh, let me go upstairs here. And uh, we need some soap, by the way. So we have to, I think it's used bed. <laughs> yep, and then we have to pull in the cord. <laughs> Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. And then we can go outside and we can pick up the soap. And in the next door, there should be someone sewing. I told you guys yeah. I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Mm. To be honest, this is pointless chat. Uh, just, is just fun chat so far. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Uh, that's how it is. And what's in here? Yeah, pick up. I'm 
pretty sure nah, you don't get access to it here. And that's here where we are going to use to take book on the horse. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Some heavy reading. And once again, this took me ages also to figure out too that you had to reach the horse to get the uh, teeth. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> oh. No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. <laughs> Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. <laughs> Too late. Okay, I think that is enough for this episode. I thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and leave comments below. If you do not leave comments, I do not know if I'm doing anything right or wrong. So, um, I'll see you in the next episode.